We are gathered here today in the sight of God and angels, and in the presence of friends and loved ones to celebrate one of life's greatest moments, to give recognition to the worth and beauty of love, and to add our best wishes and blessings to the words which shall unite William and Christy in holy matrimony. Marriage is a most honorable estate created and instituted by God signifying unto us the mystical union, which also exists between Christ and the Church. So too may this marriage be adorned by true and abiding love. Christy and William, life is given to each of us as individuals, and yet we must learn to live together. Love is given to us by our family and friends. We learn to love by being loved. Learning to love and living together is one of life's greatest challenges and is the shared goal of married life. But a husband and wife shouldn't confuse love of worldly measures, for even if worldly success is found, only love can maintain a marriage. Mankind did not create love. Love is created by God. The measure of true love is a love both freely given and freely accepted, just as God's love of us is unconditional and free. Today truly is a glorious day the Lord hath made, as today both of you are blessed with God's greatest of all gifts, the gift of abiding love and devotion between a man and a woman. All present here today, and those here in heart, wish both of you all the joy, happiness, and success that the world has to offer. As you travel through life together, I caution you to remember that the true measure of success, the true avenue of joy and peace is to be found in the love you hold in your hearts. I would ask that you hold the key to your heart very tightly. Within the Bible, nothing is of more importance than love. We're told the crystalline and beautiful truth, God is love. We're assured that love conquers all. It's love which brings you here today. The union of two hearts and two spirits. As your lives continue to interweave into one pattern, remember that it was love that brought you here today, and it's love that will make this a glorious union, and it's love which will cause this union to endure. We are all here today to share in the celebration of marriage of William and Christy. Your love and friendship has shaped these two people and led them on the paths by which they found one another. They are grateful for your influences, as well as others who aren't here today. Christine's grandparents, Grammy Lowry and Pappy, and her uncle Sherman have passed on. All those loved ones who couldn't be here today are sorely missed, yet we know that they are with us in spirit and in heart. I invite the parents of William and Christy to stand. Christy and William have special words of thanks for you. 
They're grateful and appreciate all that you've done for them. They wouldn't be here today, and they wouldn't be who they are without your loving influence. Thank you. William have chosen timeless wisdom about love to share with you on their wedding day. Our first offering will be read by William's brother Joseph. The Apostle Paul wrote in his first letter to the Corinthians, Though I speak with the tongues of humans and angels, and have not love, I am but a sounding gong, a clanging cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy, and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains, yet have not love, I am nothing. And though I share all my goods among the poor, and though I give my body to be burnt, but have not love, it profits me nothing. Love is patient and kind. Love is not envious, boastful, nor vain. She does not behave herself unseemly, seeks not her own good, is not easily provoked, keeps no account of her wrongs, rejoices not in inequity, but rejoices in the truth. Always charitable, always trustful, always hopeful, always steadfast. Faith, hope, and love. These three abide, and the gate greatest of these is love. And I offer the words, Marriage Joins Two People in the Circle of Its Love by Edmund O'Neill. Marriage is a commitment to life, the best that two people can find and bring out in each other. It offers opportunities for sharing and growth that no other relationship can equal. It's a physical and emotional joining that's promised for a lifetime. Within the circle of its love, marriage encompasses all of life's most important relationships. A wife and a husband are each other's best friend, confidant, lover, teacher, listener, and critic. And there may come times when one partner is heartbroken or ailing, and the love of the other may resemble the tender caring of a parent for a child. Marriage deepens and enriches every facet of life. Happiness is fuller, memories are fresher, commitment is stronger, even anger is felt more strongly and passes away more quickly. Marriage understands and forgives the mistakes life is un unable to avoid. It encourages and nurtures new life, new experiences, and new ways of expressing the love that's deeper than life. When two people pledge their love and care for each other in marriage, they create a spirit unique to themselves which binds them closer than any spoken or written words. Marriage is a promise a potential made in the hearts of two people who love one another that takes a lifetime to prepare. Now we begin the part of the ceremony where William and Christy express their commitment to each other in marriage. These sacred vows express the promise they make to each other to share in their lives, not by sacrificing themselves to the other, but through celebrating, supporting, respecting, and listening to each other as they each grow in heart, body, and spirit in the years to come. You are holding hands. Know that this symbolizes your friendship, a promise to be true and loyal friends. Know that it symbolizes union, a promise to keep each other in your uppermost thoughts. Know that it symbolizes help and caring. You are together to support each other's needs. Most of all, the simple gesture of holding hands symbolizes the commitment of love. And so I ask you now, William, to make you for me. Christy, I thank God for you every day. Christy, I thank God for you every day. In the presence of God, in the presence of God, our family and friends, family and friends these things I promise to you. These things I promise to you. Christy, I promise you above all, my love. 
My unending trust and respect. My unending trust and respect. My gentle understanding and support. My gentle understanding and support. I promise to keep an open heart and mind. I promise to keep an open heart and mind. In times of change and growth. In times of change and growth. Christy, I take you to be my wife. Christy, I take you to be my wife. The companion of my days. The companion of my days. From this day forward. From this day forward. You shall be my partner. You shall be my partner. Together to love. Together to love. To work and to share. To work and to share. To grow and to understand. To grow and to understand. To discover a deeper form of life.